All right, so this isn't the normal type of video you would uh, normally see for my channel, but I felt this was a important thing to have out there just to help other people because uh, it definitely saved me. So um, I'm going to show you how to help with a frozen toilet uh, where the water is not coming through the water line. We had uh, our, pipe, our pipes burst two years ago in a winter storm, and the first thing that froze was the, the toilet. So we had to keep filling up the, the tank with just a pitcher using the shower and uh, just kept filling it up that way until the, you know, frozenness stopped. But um, what we did this time was we had a freeze and first thing that happened was this froze again. Um, we're on the second floor. So right underneath this is a garage and I have a heater down in there. Um, and we knew that was, you know, the freeze was coming. So I had it on there ready, but it still froze. And because we're in an apartment, I can't just go turn off the water outside or like look at the pipes or anything like that. So we're kind of just screwed. And you can see it from like a couple years ago where they had to go through and like, you know, get to the actual pipes and down our garage. They had to like uh, all the ceiling tiles and stuff where, you know, they cut through all that and the sheetrock and everything. But anywho, um, this time what I did was I knew today was getting up to about 20 degrees. Um, when the freeze happened yesterday, it got down to like four um, so today I was like, all right, they might have a chance to get this unfrozen because it's getting kind of close to back to 32 degrees. So I had a space heater, just plugged it in over there and had it up against the wall, like pretty close, like maybe like a foot away and just try to get that going towards the wall and the, the line right there. And I had this completely just emptied and the water kept going. So that, that way, in case it did, uh, fill back up, I knew it was unfrozen. So once I came home today, after being gone for like two hours, the tank was full. So I knew I was like, oh, okay, okay, it's unfrozen. Let's fix this right now. So what I did was down in here, I put a piece of Gorilla Tape right there and right there so that the seal would be just broken enough to where the water would want to keep going down. Therefore, this would keep wanting to fill it back up, keeping the water flowing. Um, so you can kind of hear it going out there. And if you looked at the bowl, you could see like a little bit of water like trickling down. It's ever so slightly. And this piece of tape right here, I just put where the water line was if it was completely full. Just so I came back after a few minutes just to see where it was. And now it's staying right there. It was lowering. And then once it got to that point, now this is starting to kick on um, ever so slightly, just filling water back in, so it's staying at that line. So just find something that's very uh, small, shallow, like width-wise, to keep that seal broken. Because like if you put, pull this up, obviously, you can hear the water wanting to come out. But when it's just like this, it's barely seeping through. So hopefully that helps some people. And yeah, thanks for thanks for watching.